I'm Abdurov, a developer at Slexen. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, visual testing software by SmartBear called Visual Test. Uh, simply speaking, Visual Test is an SDK-based tool that catches visual bugs, the type of bugs we can see on UIs on the web whenever we try to visit some web pages. So we can integrate Visual Test into our existing UI test scripts uh, very easily uh, to automate design QA process looking for bugs in every test run. Currently, Visual Test supports various SDKs, including Cyphers, uh, Java, and Python, with ongoing plans to add more and more languages. Visual Tests can capture full page viewport and element screenshots individually if necessary. It then detects and notifies your team or you if any type of visual changes that have occurred during the tests. Visual test, more sp specifically, visual regression testing assesses the visual look of application that's being tested. Uh, so uh, now uh, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, the features of some specific features of visual test. Uh, so, SmartBear claimed that uh, Visual Test is very straightforward and we can easily integrate it into our uh, functional uh, UI testings. And they also claim that uh, it's AI powered, uh, meaning that it makes use of AI to detect any type of visual tests, such as uh, the type of tests. Te changes in content, fonts, CSS, and etc. And also they claim that uh, visual tests give us very accurate comparison results and which we can see them on visual tests dashboard. Well, uh, some companies might want to know why they, uh, they want to use visual test uh, well, most companies assume that visual testing is not necessary when functional tests are being run. However, functional tests only check whether the software works as intended, but functional testing does not check if the software looks as it should. Both are critical aspects of the software development lifecycle. The UI is usually the first thing that end users can see and an ideal opportunity to give them a good impression. It's important to make sure that uh, your application looks and works as intended, which, ha which has a huge impact on users' experience. Uh, now I would like to show you a short demo which makes use of visual test. Before we can start using Visual Test, uh, we should have an existing project, uh, whether uh, in development, under development, or in production. Well, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, for the sake of this demo, I took a simple uh, personal project of my own, which I host on GitHub. Uh, well, first, I'm going to clone my project to my local machine. And I'll open it in my editor. And I'll open my terminal. And the first thing I'm going to do is to install ciphers. After installing Cypher, uh, then next we're going to install SmartBear Visual Test Cypher SDK into our project. 
project. After making sure that we have all smart bear visual test ciphers SDK and ciphers testing uh, NPM, pa N NPM package, uh, I'm going to start ciphers, which opens ciphers menu. I'll choose the type of browser and the type of testing that I'm going to conduct in this project. And then I'll run this command, visual test that up command, which helps me to create a couple of files in which we need to specify our project token. Well, we can get our project token from visual test main page, homepage by navigating to our project settings. I'm going to copy my token and paste it inside this file. After this, we need to check a couple of other things. Uh, namely, we need to check if we have uh, imported smart air visual test site SDK is to file. Well, if you can see them in your files, then you are good to go. And now I will show you how we can start using visual test. First, I'm going to start running my project. As you can see, this is just a simple front end project which helps us to find the list of books we type in in this search bar using Google's book API. And now I will try to make a visual test in this project. For that, I'm going to open ciphers again and I'll choose my browser and I'll choose the type of testing that I want to do. And Cyphers automatically creates this file for us. And I'll open that file in my editor. As you can see, it only contains a small unit test which we can modify So I'm going to modify this unit test. So basically what it does is that it visits the URL we specify inside the single quotes. And it takes capture of the home page. And next I will specify a command that takes another screenshot using viewport. And lastly, I will try to get a specific element from the main page. For that, I'm going to open the main page source code. And I'll try to choose a random element. Well, let's choose this logo element. In order to do that, we need to specify class name. And after that, Cyphers takes a screenshot of it and uploads all of those screenshots to visual test dashboard. And now we can click on that file, which causes Cyphers to run our unit test. 
on the left side with the logs of our unit test and on the right side we can see how it, how our uh, UI project looks like So we have finished running our unit test and now we can go to visual test homepage to see our unit test results. Well, you can see that uh, a couple of files have been uploaded a few seconds ago. Well, let me give you some information about what you can find on visual test homepage. Well, on the left side, we can see the list of screenshots that were taken in our unit tests. And on the right side, we can see our target and baseline images being compared against one another. And besides, we can choose what kind of uh, changes we want to see on this dashboard. And besides, we can see some other information about the client, like the OS type and OS version, a browser type and version and browser dimensions and other information. And the most important point here uh, is that visual test uh, displays highlights all the changes that were detected while running our unit test. The left side represents the baseline image and the right side uh, shows us the target image. As we can see, baseline and target images differ a lot in both content, font and style and layout. So visual test highlights all of those changes and Lastly, uh, we can check our only unit test case that has passed our testing. So basically this is how visual test works and I hope that you can uh, get, you have got some uh, helpful information on how you can make use of visual test in your existing projects. Thank you for watching.